part of being a scientist and an engineer is this sense of putting together pieces in a design that is simple and beautiful. And that's what nature has really provided us with. Energy needs to be captured fast. If we want to study something that fast, we need something even faster. And the only way to do that is through light. Discovering something new and then realizing that not only is it new from a scientific point of view that it's going to change science, but if possible, it can also change technology. If we're born to be able to learn language, it's our native language we have to acquire, and perception is the gateway through which we learn about our native language. You have to have a thick skin in biology or in any field where you're putting yourself on the line. You gotta do something bigger than just you. You gotta do something that's so meaningful will have a big impact. The future of tech is incredibly exciting right now. I like to believe that technology is actually making our lives much better, much more productive and much more enjoyable. And that's what I view as a success. The ability to create something new, to create something new that has a specific function. It's like working with a puzzle and you're thinking to yourself, how can I build something that will actually address that need? We wanted to call it something that would admit to variation in the future. So we chose that word, ether, an omnipresent passive medium for the propagation of electromagnetic waves, ethernet. We can take a jug of specimens, extract DNA from the jug, and read the species in it. And that's what science is all about, making things that were absolutely impossible possible.